back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here and welcome back to my kitchen isn't she cute um i cleaned her just for you guys there it is one thing in the sink and it's a cup but we're in my kitchen because i really 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 wanted to make these brownies that i saw on instagram and i had a snow day today so i didn't go to work so i was like you know what this is perfect i literally never bake ever and when i saw these brownies i was like i i need to make them so i will give credit i don't know who nope, that is my archive so they were on the arbon's page and they are from erica ray which i will put her instagram handle down below but it didn't really need that much ingredient so i was like we're making them so let's get our ingredients i am going to apologize for the lighting and i hope the sound is okay um i have blankets in here to help absorb some sound my kitchen is very echoey because there's nothing in here so literally like there's no furniture there's nothing and it's all tile and there's a door there's like two windows it's it's very very echoey and then this light isn't working in our favor because i turn it off it's super dark in here and uh we don't want that so i do apologize for that i tried my best to make it work we're making it work so these are the ingredients. Um, I actually went to Weiss this morning before it snowed to get some. So you need three very ripe bananas. We're gonna have to just, I don't have plastic. Um, they're, I, are very ripe bananas like when they're brown? Cause these are still a little green, but I try to find the ones most yellow and like got brown on them. We only need three. I was like, you know what? We're gonna try it regardless. So you only need three medium sized bananas. We need half a cup of nut or seed butter, and I could not find nut butter or seed butter. Well, I found sunflower butter, but I have peanut butter, so we're going to make it work with peanut butter. Um, you need feel fit pea protein powder and chocolate. So this is our Arvon protein powder. Let me tell you, this is the best tasting protein powder I've ever tried. I'm not just saying that because I'm part of the brand. I'm literally legit saying that because it is the best, okay? And it's vegan, cruelty free, uh, gluten free, all that good stuff. So we need, yeah, it's, I'm running low on it. So I'm very upset about it. Um, we need one fourth cup of cacao powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder. I needed to pick this up this morning. I literally couldn't find baking powder or baking soda. I was like, I know it's in the baking aisle. All I had to do was turn around. I was dumb and forgot. Need a dash of vanilla and I don't have sea salt, which I know makes a big difference. So maybe just a dash of regular salt. Regular salt. And a handful of unsweetened chocolate chips. And I have these dark chocolate and I also have regular chocolate chips so we're gonna decide at the end which ones i might do half and half but these are from walmart i think and they're like the dark chocolate no sugar added basically like the cow nibs basically and then i just have a spring form pan because i don't have a tiny pan and i really want to use my spring form so we're going to use a spring form so we got to start off with preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know Celsius, but that's what we got Google for. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven. Step number two, mix all ingredients to... Terry, do you mind? I am filming and take your Subaru down a notch. Next, we have to pre mix all the ingredients together. Wow, this is gonna be a very, very quick video. Um, so we're literally just mixing all the ingredients together. So let's get a bowl. The bowl I'm using is for Easter. That's all yolks. Right on. TJ Maxx, I think, or Home Goods, one of those places. So we're gonna start off with three very ripe bananas mashed. I need a knife. I'm just gonna 
cut some bananas. Does anybody else like not eat the tips of the banana? Like, I don't know if it was like a dream I had or something my dad actually said, but like, I just don't eat the tips of the bananas. That's how it's done. Eat. Like, masher, so I'm gonna use it. My bananas. Not really working all that well. A hand mixer, where are you? If you don't own a hand mixer, I'm sorry, but you need one. Aha! Told you with the baking stuff. I'm so stupid. I re like organized my kitchen and like decluttered it. You guys saw in my last video, and I think in one of my vlogs. And I just kind of forgot where everything was. Yummy. All right. What do we need next? <laughs> this bag on my foot. Oh my thingy. Um, half a cup of nut or seed butter. So peanut butter. Half a cup. These are from the dollar store. I know, not, that's a fourth a cup. No, that is a half a cup. Um, I know, not aesthetically pleasing, but it's okay. For peanut butter, I always use like natural peanut butter. So this is Smucker's Natural Peanut Butter Creamy, or I'll use Justin's. So I literally use anything that just has like the ingredients is like peanut butter or like peanuts and like salt. So this is peanuts and contains 1% or less of salt, so. That's my little hack because it's healthier and it's actually peanut butter. I'm not here for the like Jif. Is it Jiffy or is it Jif? I think it's Jif. We thought it was Jiffy. What is that? Like, I forget what those are called. Okay. Half a cup of peanut butter. And Excited. I love peanut butter. When I was a kid, I used to eat it. It's like right out of the thing. My friend Lindsay, actually. Lindsay, I'm saying this, I'm calling you out. She went back to college. She sent me a video. And I guess I didn't know Jif makes, or whatever it is, whatever brand makes peanut butter in a squeezy tube. And she sent me a video of her just eating it out of a squeezy tube. I was like, okay, you do you. This is your sign to drink your water. Stay hydrated. One fourth cup of protein powder. One fourth is green. Um, a fourth cup of cacao. Or co cacao, cocoa, whatever. That says cacao, this is co this is also cacao. I read it as Hershey's cocoa. I'm surprised it doesn't say like dry, put your dry ingredients together. I'm making a mess. Well, my mom would be very proud of me. I'm following her directions. My mom's actually an amazing baker, like top notch baker. So Deb, watch this, please be proud of me. Um. Half a teaspoon, oh no, half a tablespoon of baking powder. A hey Siri, what is half a tablespoon in teaspoons? 0 0.5 tablespoons is 1.5 teaspoons. Thank you. Thank you, Siri. Dash of vanilla and sea salt, so a dash. Okay, dash. And vanilla. We love vanilla, so we use a little bit more than a dash. All right, and now we mix.
Ooh-wee, this looks really, really good. So I am very excited. Um, I, I need to spray my hand down. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray my hand down with this canola oil. I wish I had a smaller one, but this is the smallest spring form that I have. I think this is actually the smallest. No, I have a smaller, like a loaf pan, but I don't like making anything in the loaf pan. So we're gonna use this. I'm just gonna spray the heck out of it with this canola spray that I got from Target. I guess I'm gonna mix them in, like a little bit. I don't want too many. Oh, we're making a mess. Now this is all nice and greased. Let's get her on in there. Thick. So now this bakes for 20 to 25 minutes. So we're gonna stick her on in the oven and I will clean up and see you guys in 25-ish minutes. She is done. Um, she looks delicious. Absolutely delicious. It smells good. It, do that. Look. Okay, bottom plate is kinda, uh, oh. Hot, but there she is. So let's start cutting her. All right, y'all, here they are in all their glory. Smells like bananas, um, so I'm very excited to try it. So I don't know which one to try, I think. All right, so I'm gonna try this little piece. It's got chocolate on it. it they're still warm, so. Honestly, it's really good. I like it. I like it a lot. No, this is actually really good. It's more of like a like a cake consistency, not so like dense as a brownie. A lot more airy, extremely chocolatey. You taste the bananas in there. It's not too sweet but a bit of a, like um, chunky sea salt sprinkled on top would taste amazing, but I don't have sea salt, so that's okay. We have this. Um, but other than that, it is really good. It is very cakey, kind of. I'm always going to cook this again. I'll try to make it more moist and more like a brownie. But other than that, for it being healthy, it's pretty good. I'm gonna give it like a an eight out of 10. Definitely, I think it, I would have it again. It is healthy and is a better alternative than an actual brownie. Um, so I give it that. I will put the recipe that I use down below and I'll put the, what I use, like I don't have nut butter, I have peanut butter. So I use the peanut butter instead of regular nut butter or seed butter. Um, so that will be down below and I'll put the girl's Instagram handle as well, uh, down there as well. So you guys can check out her Instagram. But I hope you guys enjoyed baking with me. I hope you guys can create it. If you guys make it, let me know what you think of it. Um, I think it's pretty good, not gonna lie. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe. It helps my channel out a lot and I am super grateful for it. Comment down below if you guys try, try this because I'm curious what you guys think of this recipe as well. And so that is all for today and I will see you guys next week in my next video. Bye.